Archer, where is Hunbald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. Stretch your wings, Sunan. together here upon this spot ducking and hiding through the rushes <laughs> uh, hello Eivor is that you Eivor what a pleasant surprise would you drink with me Unbold. come sit sit stay with me a while and contemplate Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Let's have a drink to the memory of your father. Sailing among the leaves so green. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness, but let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A wise old oak. Yes. Skull. 
skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should... Visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come. Now come. And enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... ...full, why come to England at all? Ah... Uh. You can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh, quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating from head to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush. Evil. 
That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. Hunwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. And word. It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I am fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. You really have been courting a Dane. It's a side of you I didn't expect. People say we're an odd couple. I do not care much what people say. As every boat needs an anchor, every man needs his Swanborough. The light of my life. Eivor has been my champion as I stake my claim in Lincolnshire. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire moot will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Rest, Hunwald. By sunrise you'll have shed all your tears and pissed out the last of the ale. Eivor is right, Hunwald. Tomorrow is a new day. Yes. Yes, resting next to my angel will heal all that is broken within me. Be well, Eivor. And thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. <laughs> 